恐るべき怪物に奇妙な動物以上辰巳かいのちこの過酷な環境において人々は自らの遺伝子上進化は加速させる術を身につけたこの能力樹は保有する者たちはこう呼ばれるハイブリドット My name is Sparrow For the past four months I've hopped from island to island on this rickety old plane in the search for new life These biomes may not look like anything special, but if my calculations are correct, underneath these very wings should be a landscape teeming with a type of beings known as hybrids. Mystical combinations of part human, part anything. I've read about them, I've seen sketches of them, I've even studied their bones, but I've yet to actually meet one. And this is my chance. I've heard that the possibility for sudden genetic evolution is a trait that exists in everyone. So, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little hopeful that one of these creatures might be able to show me how to unlock a part of myself that I didn't even know existed. However, the bit of bad news that I've got to start our adventure off with is I may have forgotten to top up the redstone tanks before taking off. We've been gliding off of inertia for the past 40 seconds, and I think the carburetor has just malfunctioned. No matter though, I'm a dab hand of a joystick, and I've spotted a pretty deserted looking meadow out besides the forest. All I've got to do is stick the landing and we'll be fine. You know what they say if you can walk away from a landing, it's a good landing. Provided that I survive this, I'll be spending the next few months being up close and personal with species the outside world doesn't even know exists. And I'm taking you along for the ride. Anyway, I should probably put this journal away and focus on getting us down safely. Attention, all air traffic controllers or pilots in the vicinity, this is Sparrow calling out from the Piper J3 Cub. My current coordinates are latitude 39.1567, longitude minus 106.23. I'm currently at altitude 1200 feet with airspeed of 120 knots and a heading of 080 degrees magnetic. I have limited fuel and will be initiating a controlled descent to land safely in the wilderness. I will keep broadcasting on this frequency as I do so and after landing, should I survive. Please advise if you receive this transmission and can offer any assistance. Over. Don't fall, 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 don't fall. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. This is log entry number one. As you can see, I survived. The crash went better than expected. The only downside is that the poor cub is. It's been in better shape. Even if I could repair it with the minimal equipment that I have and then dig it out of the furrow it's buried itself into, there isn't really enough runway on this small patch of grass to get enough lift. So. This is my new home. Let me show you around. <laughs> Hello, fellow travelers. It's good to see you. Oh, oh no. Oh, <gasps> this is my me. This is what I first built when I crashed here. Uh, it's a little nice, you know. It's got a couple of drawers and stuff for keeping things in. It's got a little bedside cabinet. And this is my sleeping bag that I set here and I sleep in at night. That at least I used to before I made the next thing that I'm going to show you. This is my main living area. This is what I made after making the little tent.、Uh, it's got everything you need it's got a stove, it's got a sink, I've got some food that I'm preparing, and a table for when I eventually have some friends to come visit. This is the lava pit that lives near my house.、Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if. if but, hold on. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> This is the lava pit. This is where I make all of my food. It's also, as you can see, where I hang my bed sheets so that they can dry. And also,、uh, this has the unintended effect that my bed smells like boiled carrots, which I haven't decided if I like yet. This has been my home for the past. Like、six or seven days.、Uh, I found some clay and I dug that up. I used that to make the stove. I found some iron and I used that to make the chute.、Uh, but there's still a lot to explore 
including our first adventure together. I don't have it. Stay here. I found this. It's, it's uh, I believe, a treasure map. And I thought it would be fun if we could uh, go and sail the high seas in search of finding where the treasure is. So that's going to be Sparrow's big first adventure that happens today. And I'm taking you with me. Here we go. We're off to find some buried treasure. Okay, let's see where this map takes us. I'm pretty good at reading maps. So I think that that would be uh, this way, I guess. I was wrong. It's this way. I'm hoping that I'll be able to meet some hybrids in the near future. Uh, after we've gotten ourselves set up at our camp, I think it'll be time to go and uh, head out into the big wide world and see what lies around us, because you never know who's watching. Oh, a bridge. Hang on a moment. Someone's been here, maybe perhaps. Oh, so, okay, well, maybe they haven't been here in a long while. What's in here? Oh, it's a well. Okay, that makes sense. According to my map, someone has buried treasure over here. Right about here. Okay, let's set you up. Hello, my name is Sparrow. As oh, we've already said that. Today, I will be making the grand discovery of buried treasure right beneath my very feet. Wish me luck. Ah! Oh, that's copper. No, nope, not there. This is harder than it looks. Okay, now I will be making the first major discovery of my career. Oh! <laughs> Aha! <gasps> We've hit the jackpot. As you can see, amazing. Incredible. I'll be able to protect myself of this. Our first riches. Being an adventurer is easy. That was a successful first adventure. But there's still more to be had out there. Fresh off the back of the victory of finding riches in the soil, I've decided to head out into the shining area and see who I can find. So we're going to go do that now. Here we go. Oh, wow. There is a lot of ores down there and a lot of iron. Okay, we'll need to come back here later. Genuinely skin. Okay, okay, okay. Stay calm, stay calm. I need to get a better perspective. Entry log number two. Uh, I believe I have found some form of civilization or other type of life. Uh, I can't see anyone in there, but we're gonna go have a closer look. Uh, if this is the last entry, you can assume that um, whoever is in there was dangerous and killed me on sight. Okay, thanks. What is this? This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the bushes. This is so clever. It's getting dark. Uh, I should head inside and seek refuge. Hello? 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 Are, you, are we friendly? Is this hello? This is a Hi, nice house. Welcome to my cottage. Yeah, yes. this is this is lovely. Come on in. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, there's a there's a bee in a chair. Yeah, welcome. Want a what? cabbage roll? Oh yes, please. This machinery is crazy. Thanks. That's my that's my automatic farm. Oh my gosh. I'm harvesting wheat and things so I can cook. Oh my! Wow. Okay. How long have you lived here? Um, about 12 hours. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm Sparrow, by the way. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. Yes, this is... A, why is there a bee in a chair? I, I must ask. Oh, uh, I'm a swarm. That's, oh. that's my ability. <gasps> I'm, I have a bunch of bees, you see? And I, I, I can hover like this with their power. Oh my gosh, you have powers. That's, this is fantastic. I've been... Yeah. Hold on, do you mind? Can I take a photo super fast? Hold on. Sure. Uh, hold on. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just let's just pose. This is the, you're the first person I've met who has powers. Um, you like a fan or something? What's going on? Oh, uh -huh. just a just an explorer, just a documenter. Um, a but, doc? Yeah, I'm just a human. Ooh. I'm just a, I'm just a guy. 
Um, I was just working in my basement down here. I'm putting oh. together some more machinery. Oh, yeah? Oh, my. Oh, mm -hmm. goodness. This is yeah. advanced. So this is going to be a mechanical press so that I can put my, my ores and stuff into it, and uh -huh. then it gets smushed <gasps> like you that. squished it. And then I can build some other stuff what, eventually. What's in I'm, I'm still working I'm scared. it all out. I don't want to get like trapped in the gears. Um, no, it's but... okay. They don't hurt. Okay. Wow. We there's there's something in there. Where's what? What is that? That's just a water wheel. That's oh. how it gets power. Gotcha. Wow. So you're quite advanced with the machinery then. Yeah, I'm doing my best. <laughs> um, have you met any other people? Oh, other I've people met. Like Sausage. Sausage lives across the way. He's, oh, yeah? He's got way more powers than me. Sorry, I'm going to take a nap. Oh, that, that's fine. That's, I'll also take a nap. I'll sleep here. Ow! I almost died to a creeper earlier. It wasn't fun. Oh, yeah. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my it's gosh. a small cottage. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. This is very sweet. Um, thank you. Thank you. It's very homely. So, wait. What? what, what is Sausage? He, he can, like, fly really high, and he shoots fireballs. I'd watch out for him, Oh, honestly. gosh. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I guess not everybody is as friendly as a, a swarm of bees. Right, well, I clearly have a I clearly have a long way to go. I thought my tent was advanced, but... uh Oh, you've got a waystone. Tents are great. Oh, yeah, you should take it so you can visit. Yes, yes. So I can come back here. I'll, I'll boop. Oh, there you go. I've discovered it, yes. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to go try and get started on this. Um, Good luck. Thank you very much. I'm sure you'll do great. Thank, thank you. you. I live off in this direction in case you ever want to come visit. That, that way. Okay. See you later. I met my first hybrid. I can't believe this. I I, I didn't realize it would be that easy. They were so friendly. I'm a little concerned about the person called Sausage that they spoke about, who is apparently able to shoot fireballs. That sounds more dangerous than a bunch of bees, but it was incredible. And they had machinery like I've, I've never seen before. I, I've got to get making. It looked like the thing that the bee was making was a type of alloy. And I think I can make that. I just need... I just need andesite, which I think I have some of already. Yep. And I just need uh, a type of like metal iron nugget to fuse it to. This is perfect. Okay. okay. <gasps> I did it. I've done it. But it wasn't just an alloy, it was it was on something. It was on, it was on the like, uh, it was framed in wood. So <gasps> this is my proudest achievement to date, other than meeting a hybrid. Okay, it's the next day and I've been thinking long and hard during the night about what I'm going to need in order to make a factory that's even a little bit similar to what the bees had. I have a pretty basic understanding of how this stuff all works. And so I'm going to give it a shot now. Firstly, I know I'm going to need some kind of alloy, which we've already seen. Where is it? So I'm going to make a bunch of that. Then I'm going to need some shafts, which I've already made before, so that's fine. I want to make a pressy pressy machine, and I think the best way to power that is going to be the hand crank that I have. So I'm going to give that a go too. But now I actually need to make the pressy pressy machine. So press. Oh, that's a lot. That, okay. I have the press, and I have the thing that the press sits on. So now I think I just need to... Yeah, okay. It needs something to press. Um, carrot. Okay, it doesn't like the carrot. No! Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of iron. <gasps> it did the thing. I got flat iron. Okay, that's great, but I'm going to need to power this. It takes a lot of energy to, to turn, so I need to figure out a different way to power it. And I think I remember the bees talking about a water wheel. No! So we're going to make a water wheel. Oh, okay, I can do that. Fine, that's easy. Okay, big cog surrounded by lots of little panels gives me a water wheel. I think the factory will be able to go here. I think this is a nice spot for it to be. I'll try and make the floor a little bit more stony and less dirt. Perfect. Here, I just need some water now. Thankfully, I live by the ocean. <gasps> I did it. I have power. I've done it. Okay, now I just need to get that to here. I'm gonna need some kind of like gearbox thing. Now I know you're probably thinking, Sparrow, how have you managed to figure this out all so quickly? It's been less than a day. But you've got to understand that while I may not appear to be the brightest tool in the shed, I am a pilot. And pilots are good at machinery and engineering. I think I've done it. Hold on, moment of truth. 
Oh, no. <laughs> okay, never mind. Scratch all that. <gasps> yes, just in time for bed. Yeah! The Industrial Revolution has begun, and it's all happening on my little island. I love this. I'm going to go for a quick swim, and I'm going to grab some kelp, because I think I can use this to make a belt, which I'm going to use to transport items around. Okay, cook this up. Okay, I want to put some chests down here and here. I need some more gearboxes. And this goes here. Okay, I think we're ready. If I take our dried kelp, I should... Aha! Belt. And if I take this... Oh, no, those are going the wrong way. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to make one more gearbox middle. This is definitely not the best way to do this. Maybe if somebody finds this video vlog, I don't know, maybe somewhere where they're like publicly distributed uh, and they can, you know, contact me in the future about how to do this better. They should do that. Yes, I agree. Okay, they're both going now that way, which is still the wrong way because I want them to go that way. So maybe if I had one more gearbox. No one is here to tell me that this is not what I'm meant to do, so I'm just going to keep doing it until it's done. Yeah! <laughs> Great! <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Oh, and I can just make two andesite funnels using the kelp that I already have. And now this should transport items a very short distance. But that's not what I wanted to do. I want to make a sawmill, which thankfully I have the sheets all ready to do, uh, and then place that here. How do I place it in the middle? Hmm. No, I thought I would be able to put the belt from one side to the other, but I'm going to have to change this slightly. I've just come up with a revelation. Uh, I may have been being a little bit silly with all of these gearboxes, but that's okay. No! <laughs> My gearbox! <laughs> if I place a gearbox here, and then I place a cogwheel here, I can then connect this cogwheel to a smaller one, and then have a line of them, which is cheaper than a gearbox. Granted, they're still kind of going the wrong way sometimes, but I think I can fix that. I think I've figured it out. My assumption was that each shaft had to be connected to its own cog, but that's not true. You don't need to do that. Take the belt, connect them up. I think it's working. So if I do this, I need to connect this up. I put an anti alloy in. It churns it up. It's going the wrong way, but we don't have to worry about that. Oh. We do have to worry about that. Ow! Ow! Okay, I think for this one, we can use a gearbox. My old trusty friend, the gearbox. Which will reverse the direction that the sawmill is churning. And then when I drop this in, it should start cutting it the correct way! Come on. It did it! And look, we get more, we get six rather than the, we get six for one rather than the eight for two that we get. The factory is coming along nicely. However, I really need to be able to uh, turn the direction of these things without having to break them. Uh, and currently, as you can see, I am goggleless. So uh, I need to go find some gold in order to make some goggles. My other ones got destroyed in the plane crash. So that's our next adventure. Okay, and away we go. It's getting night time, but I've got my sleeping bag with me just in case. And I've got some carrots, which I'll be honest, I'm starting to get sick of the smell of them. But never mind. I haven't explored much in this direction other than the little treasure chest that we found. And while that was a little bit of gold, I am going to need more than that at some point. So we've got to go get some. Oh. Hang on a second. A horse. No. <laughs> I wasn't there last time I was here. Was it? Am I going crazy? Okay. Wow. So then 
nice looking place. And it's got some... What is that? Why is it gliding? It's just gliding in a circle. That's terrifying. What is it? Is it another hybrid? Horse, don't give me away. Oh. Oh, I think it's noticed me. I think it's noticed. It's... Is that... Hi! <gasps> Ah! 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 Ah!